Here's something wild. Plastic surgery didn't start to make people prettier. It started to give soldiers their faces back. During World War I, new weapons created injuries the world had never seen before, shattered jaws, burned skin, missing noses, wounds doctors had no idea how to fix. And into this chaos stepped a New Zealand surgeon named Harold Gillies, the man who basically invented modern plastic surgery. He wasn't interested in cosmetics. He was trying to give young soldiers a chance to live without hiding from mirrors or the world. He pioneered tubed pedicle flaps, weird name, life-changing technique. He'd take healthy skin, roll it into a tube, attach it to a new place, and keep the blood flowing long enough to rebuild entire faces. Some soldiers needed over 20 surgeries, not to look perfect, but simply to look human again. By the end of the war, Gillies had performed thousands of reconstructive operations, creating not just new faces, but a completely new medical field. So next time you hear the words plastic surgery, remember, it didn't begin with Hollywood. It began with courage, compassion, and the desperate hope to rebuild what would try to erase.